Most people are using Microsoft Teams are missing like 70% of the features that they pay for. They could get out much more out of Microsoft Teams if they only knew how. So today I'll give you my five best practices for Microsoft Teams. How do I know it will be helpful? My name is Paul Keizers and I've helped multiple companies get the most out of Microsoft Teams. So you can trust I know what I'm doing. Let's jump into it. So we first go to my number one and that is in chat. So here we have Microsoft Teams and what happens a lot is that people are chatting to each other and they create a group and this group is like a small project. So they start sharing files and moving around and yeah, that works really fine until somebody leaves the company because most of the files are still on the OneDrive. So I encourage you, if it smells like a project, then move it up to a team and create your channels. So that's number one. So the second uh, one, number two, is about right-clicking a message. So here you see that I've done uh, several tests, but I can uh, right-click on it and I get get directly to the menu most people were aware that it was under the three dots but now they have added a right click on the message this works for this part uh, for on the chat but it also works within channels so here i can just click and it will also work so that's a really uh, beneficial because it so saves you a lot of time by right clicking and not not going to the three dots uh, to check oh here's my three dots and then i still need to click so one right click on the message and you're done then the third one is snooze a message for later so you already have this feature in microsoft outlook but you can also enable something like that in teams how do you do that well first you start off by clicking right on uh, on the message and then you click on more actions and here it is already enabled follow up on the message but if it's not there then you can click on create a new action when you create a new action it will pop up all pre-loaded workflows this means it's a template if you click on it it will load it in your workflow environment so in this case we are going to select follow-up on a message it will open the follow-up uh, panel or the workflow it initiates the name and the connections so in this case we need a connection to microsoft teams and to office 365 users so both are on your own name so not on a, somebody else's name uh, if this doesn't work work you may need to reset your connections so that's uh, something you need to be aware of if i'm finished i click on add to work at workflow and then it will show you like this uh, under the three dots follow up on the message and you will get this message and here you can select a date for example the tenth a time where i want to have the message and uh, i can say look at paul's videos and submit it so tomorrow i will get this message at this time and it will show so this is one that's really important don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and tell everyone uh, that this uh, video is great and uh, thanks for sharing now as you know i sh showed you what happened so it, it generated a message and if we look in the chat, we see that uh, the workflows has sent a card uh, that my workflow is ready and running. So that's great because I know it's, it's working. And I did this before, of course. I also got this message follow up on a message, uh, Paul. So this is a demo. So I use this and this brings me to number four channel or notification in the activity center. We, you may have seen that 
you get a lot of notifications, but in the activity center that are the most important. If people add mention you or there is something important, then you go and look in the activity center. If you are really busy, you only need to view on the activity center. If your governance is correct and your adoption is done well. So what we can do, for example, I don't want any workflow messages. I can turn off the notifications for workflows, but be aware no workflow will come true. So that's really a catchy one. Um, I would not do this, but let's go to the notification settings. Here in the notification settings, you see that almost everywhere you see show in activity and banner. So you can change this uh, to uh, only activity or off even. So you are the boss of your own teams. Be aware if you set it correctly up, it will show you activity. And one I wanted to show here is the meetings and especially the calendar. So if somebody new invites updates a cancellation, show it in activity. Well, I don't know about you, but I get quite some uh, meetings. So I turn off this notification in the activity because my activity is the most important one. So that's why I turn it off, but you can turn it on. Of course, these are settings. Please go through them and check if they are applicable for you. Then we've got the last one and that's one of the uh, most important ones. Hide a channel. So I got here uh, the general channel. This is something that's new and was not possible before. We can click on it and we can hide the general channel. Now you see I've hidden it and it directly hidden the team. So I'm going to show the team again. The show and it will come back at the top and I can go to uh, for example uh, face new year which is a Dutch name I can even hide this one so I can say hide and now all the channels are hidden so I need to go and see all channels here we see that it's uh, there are two channels hidden so let's click on hidden you see them hidden and shown you see them not shown so first i'm going to show the general again you see it's popping up again and afterwards i will also show a faced new year so now i only need to show the team again and then it's back as it used to be so play around with this because you only want to see the channels that are really important to you so you work on a daily basis. so that's what, what the channel you want to see other channels you don't want to see because they disturb your workflow you can also check out the video where i explain the number one everyone makes with microsoft teams see you on the other side